there are many online tools that you can use to make wireframes. We'll be covering just a few of these in this module. So we're going to try out wireframe.cc and this is one tool that you can use. You're going to be given a gridded page to place your items on and you can adjust the size of this page because you'll notice it's usually not long enough to hold that so you can click on this little settings um, icon here and you can increase, I'll just give a, an extra thousand pixels here and change that to 1600 pixels and now you'll see that it's much longer so you can adjust the size width and height um, to begin an item for the wireframe we just simply click and drag the shape of the, um, the item so if I wanted for example a header up here I could just click that and it's going to give me some options you know images text and this I guess I would just want a box for the header and you can actually double click it sometimes and get these little sub menus that maybe I want to show that it's going to have a color in it um, now remember we're not necessarily worried about using our color scheme of our site on the wireframe but maybe this just might point out that there's going to be a different background color than the rest of the page or something like that so there's my first item that's just kind of showing the header and then I would just click and drag maybe I want a logo and this time I'll click on the little image icon and this box with an X shows that we have an image that will show up there and now I can add some text for the links so you can either use this text I think there's actually a header icon as well but I'll just throw in some text you can increase the size and delete maybe what you don't want to use there um, and then I could actually click outside of it maybe click back on it and do a control C to copy and a control V to paste and I can just bring in and you'll notice you get some like little grid lines to kind of show you how they can line up here maybe I'll just do um, three links Anyway, you can space them out a little better than I can um, where I'm trying to hurry through this. And then if you know the name of your page, you can put that in or you can just lose, use the Lorem Ipsum placeholder text and leave that as it is for that. So anyway, space those out a little better than I am here, but that's the idea. You're just going to be clicking and dragging and lining up these different areas of your page. All right, so then maybe perhaps in my main section, I might have a big banner image that might go here and this time I'll click on the image and get a big image that would show up there and then perhaps maybe I might have a paragraph here of text and I can click on this paragraph here or I can click on the text either one this one just shows lines which is fine um, some people actually put the actual text that they'll use but you don't have to and then maybe I'll have a picture next to it and something like that and maybe I've got a button under here or something like that that I can just use this a box for I can even you know make it a different color again if I want to show that it's a button and that kind of thing so this is kind of how you're going to go through and design your page there and maybe I'll put another image on this side something like that okay then when you get to your and at this point I could decrease the size a little bit if I've got too much white space but you can throw in a footer and maybe I've got a similar background whoops a similar background to maybe what I did with the, the header up there so I'll do a box and then I'll double click it and maybe put a different color there and again I can click in, outside and then inside of it again maybe I'll just have a little bit of text here to show maybe my copyright or something like that it's too much text I can delete some um, I might have my some social media icons whatever you have planned for your web page you get to design this however you want and this will be then the start of how your page is going to look and have it designed now to save it to to give it to somebody or something like that there is a save button where you can get this public URL and copy it and that's what you could give somebody 
if they wanted to see this online, or if you wanted to just get a screenshot of it, you can do a command or control S, I'm sorry, <laughs> command or control minus sign, and tell it the whole thing's on the screen. And you could do a snippet tool or a screenshot, and then just it would be saved as an image. So this will be once you're all done and it looks perfect. Mine's not perfect. It's got some some uh, spacing issues and things like that. But once you have it really nice and you can go ahead and hit that save button that's up here or you can zoom out with the command or control minus and take a screenshot. And there we have a super quick overview of wireframe.cc.